Good morning. Good morning and welcome. What a, a good introduction with this movie, which contains everything we want to do at Dassault System with our partner and with you, customers. So today, my objective in my presentation is really to give you the insight of what it is we do in this domain, Renaissance. We're going to speak a lot about the 3D Experience platform. And uh, the great thing today is that what I'm going to say, you will see it. And more than this, you are going to experience it. And this is what is going to happen. And uh, this afternoon, when I will come back at my conclusion, I will come back to this presentation I'm doing at the moment. So the industry renaissance is really a, a revolution. And uh, what you have to understand is that uh, we know that the industry is a process of uh, creating value. But the factory will have to change, are changing now, because we need to create not only product, but experiences. And at Dassault System, what we want to be, working with our ecosystem, we want to be the catalyst and the enabler of this uh, change, this revolution. So let's go and see what it means. So first of all, when we are speaking about manufacturing in production, we did move from a, a phase which was the automation to a, a phase which is currently going on with digitalization. People are calling that Industry 4.0. What we think in this domain, that this is not enough. And our vision is that leveraging the knowledge, the know-how, all the capitalization through uh, uh, universe, uh, digital universe will enable a new paradigm in the way people are working together exchanging, capitalizing, managing, and optimizing the production. And this is what we do. So, industry renaissance for us means a lot. First of all, new categories of industrial. New categories of solution. And I was telling before that solution means experiences. But very important, new category of consumer. So let's see some example. When you think about the Boeing company today, they have moved from, or they are moving in their two CES initiative, which is a second century initiative of Boeing, from being an aircraft manufacturer to become an industrial company. What does it mean? They want to be the best producing experience with their product to their customer. When we look in the middle, this company, a uh, small company, was making cars in order to deliver objects for the last time. They are reinventing the way we're going to distribute products, the way Amazon or those companies will distribute what you've bought to the consumer. And uh, last but not least, look at this young lady uh, she's an industrial. She has been reused, reusing the, the solution, the experience with all the knowledge in order to build a rocket. So it's very interesting because from the biggest to mid-size to the smallest, and sometimes people who want to become an industrial, you can leverage this knowledge, this know-how, and produce things. Now, when we, we think about new category of solution, uh, here is an example of uh, Biomex, a company which is building your organs in order to propose that to, uh, uh, to the doctors so that they can simulate a, a surgery even before it's happened with the real uh, insight of your body. So new kind of consumer in the middle of solution. In the middle, you have this company which is uh, developing architecture and product which embeds uh, solution to uh, transform CO2. CO2. And last but not least, uh, on the right side, uh, we have this company which is doing thermoforming of a uh, uh, circuit board. Uh, so in 3D, things which are today in 2D are embedded uh, in the dashboard of the car. And, uh, and this is really new revolution. 
when we think about new consumer, category of consumer, on the right side here, you have Singapore, the city of Singapore, which is going to, to manage, monitor the city using our solution for the citizen. It's really a, a new usage of, uh, of experiences. And in the middle, here, you can see uh, some of our examples uh, of uh, uh, IKEA, which is going to provide our solution to their consumer for them at the first time to be able to uh, really design and put all the furniture virtually uh, to their consumer. So, so what does it mean? It means that you, me, will be able to design our best interior of our apartment, house, condom, in order to do that. So this is really new usage. And, and there is much more uh, consumer good apparel and all this usage. So this is new category of consumer. So in order to fuel all of this, we have been developing since uh, uh, a long time, 10 years, the 3D experience platform. And this platform is about knowledge and know-how. This is what we do. When you think about all our industry solutions, our brands, all this technology has been put together on top of the same platform in order to first uh, act as an operating system. So uh, each brand is going to contribute and uh, allow the simulation in the virtual world of what you want to do and a business model, and I'm going to describe that in a moment. So, a uh, platform for knowledge and know-how, two examples here. One is this bridge, which has been completely simulated. So what does it mean? It's that not only you design the bridge, but also you simulate it. And why it's possible? It's because the platform allows you to put all the technology, all the intelligent artificial necessary in order to do that, and, and learn it so that you can reuse it. On the right side, it's very interesting. It's not only the power of simulation, it's the power of networking. Because the platform allows people to work together in a network in order to invent solutions. And here, it's doctors working together through the platform in order to simulate and try to solve all cases of epilepsy. And uh, you can see that uh, uh, the power of the platform is not only to, to manage, to create all uh, the virtual world which allows to do the simulation, but also connect the people together in order to do more as a team. The platform uh, is also, uh, has been designed in order to be a business platform. And um, last year, we have been announcing uh, our marketplace and uh, when you think at the evolution of, uh, of the business, everybody knows what is going on with Amazon and Alibaba. It's how you put in front of each other the buyer and the seller. Uh, this is happening also in the uh, tourist uh, domain with uh, Airbnb. It's happening also uh, in transportation with the well-known case uh, of many companies today which uh, started with uh, Uber. And uh, so we decided uh, to uh, create the marketplace and how we are going to put together the seller and the buyer for the industry. It's, it's the biggest market we can imagine. So what does it mean? It, mean, it means that our customer can leverage this business platform and become, become seller as part of the business platform. So we have introduced two solutions which are the two first of a long series, uh, part supply and make, which allow for make, as you, you may know, uh, and we'll discuss that, I think, today, uh, to put in front those who are building products in front of those who need to build and to manufacturing products. So, the other thing which is very important in industry renaissance is the workforce of the future. And it's a critical problem that many, many countries and industries are facing today. And um, when you think about the 3D experience and what it brings, it's completely challenging the future of uh, what is the 
enabling the workforce of the future. And for that, what you have to remember is that there is three principles. The first one is that we need to learn by doing. We need to learn by doing. We're not going to continue to learn and uh, academics and then go to company and try to experiment. So, for sure, when you are thinking about learning by doing, the 3D experience platform is really the best test bed in order to do that. The second thing which is very important is value network. Because when you are speaking about learning, it's about how I reach the other people and I leverage what is going on somewhere else. And this is the second value of the 3D experience platform. And last but not least, and this brings us back to the industry renaissance, when you think about books, when you think about workbench, which has been used in the past as a way to convey uh, the knowledge, uh, this is replaced and will be replaced by the industry 3D experience. And this is what we believe. And really, here I, I have two examples which are interesting. The first one is the one of Echo. And Echo is a, is a company which is delivering uh, to uh, Sol for your shoes when you go inside the shop and which is re really leveraging bio mechanics, which means knowledge and large knowledge and the 3D printing technology so that the sole is built locally when you buy your shoes. And Boeing has a big example of what is happening in their manufacturing plant and that we are going to see today, which is really having the operator moving to the management and the optimization of the lines and the cells where they are working. So Boeing is going to, and it's very well known, they have known that two, two years ago now, is going to the digital twin, leveraging the 3D experience platform. What does it mean? It means clearly that uh, they are able not only to optimize what they are doing today, but to reinvent completely their uh, production system. And, and when you think about Boeing, it's so important because they have a backlog of a thousand of airplanes. And what is the more important today is the rate and their capacity to deliver more airplanes as soon as possible. So, the learning experience is more. It's how we are working with academics, with government. It's becoming the problem of the world. And uh, we have good example. Uh, of collaboration, and you're going to see more and more uh, labs like uh, NIAR in US, where we put together uh, the knowledge of the industry, the knowledge of the academics, the knowledge and the support of the, uh, the country or the state or the government, and uh, make sure that the people who are going there are really benefiting this learning by doing and uh, prepare to uh, the next challenge of our industry. So, what we want to do at Dassault System is to be the catalyst and the enabler of this transformation. And uh, it's part of our vision, our strategy. We have been investing a lot. If we can do it today, it's due to all this evolution and this acquisition we have been doing during years. And uh, the fact that we did put all of this on our 3D experience business platform make us in a position where we can demonstrate that we are a player. This is what we want to demonstrate to you today. And uh, let's meet again tonight to see if you have seen what I'm saying. And uh, last but not least, I just want to, to remind you what is the vision, the purpose, what we want to do uh, at Dassault System. And it's really uh, for the sustainability to harmonize nature product and life. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah.